back in the 90s with the 964 Porsche, which was the 89 and a half through 94 911, Porsche always had magnetic drain plugs all the way through 89 and a half from the 356 and back. Every engine had a magnetic drain plug or an oil sump. With the 993, they came out with an ad that says it's $5,000 cheaper. Well, they cut, they cut in different places so they can make and sell that car cheaper. It cost them more money to make that car. As time went on, they had to spend more money. So they came out with a, a modular wiring harness. Every Porsche also always had every wire, every harness for any option you would want to add. Fog lights, rear fog light, etc. But in the 993, it had a modular wiring harness, which didn't have all that wiring. They sold it to you as it was a lighter weight wiring harness or you saved weight. But in the end, it was about saving money. Well, let's talk about magnetic drain plugs. When Porsche cut those, finally, Charles came along at Allen Engineering and made magnetic drain plugs for all Porsches. It's important that you do that. I remember somebody coming out with an article that said, oh, but you're only capturing a very small portion. Well, why is it then that every magnetic drain plug I take out has something? Even if it's a little, just the slightest film, I'm looking at if that film changes every time I change the oil. Use the same people and or change your oil yourself and monitor that film on the drain plug. I'd like to take, I like to take down my oil pan every 20,000 miles on a water-cooled car to look at what's in it. I look at, it's like it's a road map because at certain areas, it's from the cams and certain areas, it's from the oil pump area. And you're looking to see if the oil pickup has any glue on it or anything. Now, one last note. If you live in a cold climate or a climate that gets very cold and you're going to store your car, it's a good idea to change the oil before you put your car away. When you put it back into service, you don't have to change the oil again because it just sat in there. It hasn't gotten dirty yet from combustion byproducts and uh, being used and, and the, the film strength hasn't been changed. So before you put it away for the winter or before you store your car regardless, change the engine oil and filter. When you do that and put it back into service, you don't have to worry about changing oil again.